Welcome to this training module, Enthalpy and HVAC Performance. So, so far we've discussed sensible heat and latent heat. And now we can put the two of those together to arrive at total heat. So, total heat can be calculated two different ways. We can add our sensible and our latent heat, or we can use another formula called the total heat formula to measure enthalpy. So, let's talk about adding sensible and latent heat together. What did our system that we just tested uh, produce? Well, in our example, the unit removed 25,920 uh, BTUs per hour or of sensible and 16,320 BTUs of latent heat. So to calculate total heat, we just add those two numbers together, sensible plus latent, and we arrive at 42,240 BTUs per hour or 3.52 tons. So this system is operating right around three and a half tons. Very easy formula to, uh, to plug in, just adding those two numbers together, sensible and latent. Let's pause for a moment and talk about sensible heat ratio. Because this is very important when we're talking about the performance of the system. Sensible heat ratio is the percentage that sensible heat is to total heat. So in our sample unit, the air conditioning system removed a total of 42,240 BTUs. Of that, 25,920 was sensible heat. So the sensible heat ratio is calculated by sensible heat divided by total heat. Again, a very simple formula. In this case, we divide 25,920 sensible divided by 42,240 of total heat. We arrive at 0.61. What does this tell us? It tells us that 61% of the air conditioning's capacity was sensible, which tells us also that 39% must be latent. If it's not sensible, it has to be latent. There is no other alternative. Your typical residential air conditioning system sensible heat ratio is between 0.7 and 0.8. The higher the sensible heat ratio is, the quicker that system will satisfy the thermostat because it's removing more sensible heat than latent heat. So it's taking temperature away from the house, but it won't be very good at removing humidity. So if a home is experiencing high humidity, that may mean that the AC's sensible heat ratio is too high. It's satisfying the thermostat before it can run long enough to remove humidity. So what can you do? Well, in order to lower that sensible heat ratio or make the system better at dehumidifying, you can slow the fan speed down to raise the sensible heat ratio so that the air conditioning can reach temperature quicker. We can speed the fan up. If you recall, we said there were two ways to calculate total heat. We could add sensible and latent heat together, which is what we just talked about, or we can use the total heat formula. To calculate total heat. Total heat is also called enthalpy, which is an important term to remember. The total heat formula is actually a more direct method of calculating total heat that's removed from a system. So that's the method that you'll use in the field more likely. Similar to the latent heat formula, it requires us to plot two points on the psychrometric chart. And then instead of calculating grains of moisture, we're actually going to be calculating and measuring and doing math to figure out what our enthalpy is. Well, what is enthalpy? Simply put, enthalpy is the total heat in the air. Enthalpy is heat. Its unit for measurement is just the same as sensible and latent heat. It's BTUs per pound of dry air. And is directly connected with wet bulb temperature. So enthalpy takes into consideration the moisture level in the air. And on the psychrometric chart, it's simply an extension of the wet bulb line. So we still have our sample air conditioning problem that we're working through. This system, as we can see here, we have plotted two operating points, our return and our supply. Our, again, our return was 75 dry bulb, 63 wet bulb, our supply was 55 dry bulb, and 50 wet bulb. That's how we arrive at our operating points. Now let's try to plot our enthalpy. 
The enthalpy is just a, an extension of the wet bulb line which runs diagonal on our chart. So if we plot this out, we arrive at 28.1 BTUs per pound of return enthalpy. On our supply side, again, we just extend that wet bulb line up diagonally to the upper left, and we arrive at 20.3 BTUs per pound of supply enthalpy. So how much enthalpy did this system remove? What's our difference? That's the difference between these two lines. And we arrive at 7.8 BTUs per pound. Our total heat formula takes on the same structure as our sensible heat and latent heat formulas. We're looking for our total heat, which is QT in this example. And we need our enthalpy difference this time. So here's the formula. Total heat equals enthalpy difference times CFM times 4.5. And just like the other formulas, that 4.5 is a new constant that will always be used. So the sensible heat formula had a constant that was 1.08. The latent heat formula had a constant that was 0.68. The total heat formula has a constant that is 4.5. So we see a very similar structure in that formula. We need a difference of heat times CFM times a constant. Let's use this total heat formula to determine what our total cooling removed from our sample air conditioning problem is. Now, if you recall, in our example, when we added our sensible latent heat, we arrived at 42,240 BTUs per pound of total heat. Now, let's see if we come close to that same number by using the total heat formula. So again, total heat equals our enthalpy difference times CFM times 4.5. When we plug that in to how we plotted it on the chart, we uh, get 7.8 of the enthalpy difference times 1200 times 4.5. So our total is 42,120. Very, very close to the previous number that we got by adding sensible latent heat together. So as you can see, you can use either formula to get total heat. It's whichever is easiest for you using the instrumentation and the methods that you have available for you at that time. Let's take a moment to summarize some of our formulas and this is a good time to be writing these down. Our sensible heat formula is temperature difference times CFM times 1.08. Latent heat is grains difference times CFM times 0.68. Our total heat can be calculated by adding sensible plus latent or we can use the total heat formula, enthalpy difference times CFM times 4.5. Our typical enthalpy difference in comfort cooling, this is another good piece of uh, information to take down, is between 5.5 and 8.0 BTUs per pound. Our sensible heat ratio is determined by dividing sensible by total heat. And a typical sensible ratio, sensible heat ratio should be between 0.7 and point eight.